the Higher Achievement Program here at Jesuit, I believe it's inviting us to open ourselves to exposure for kids who might not typically be here at Jesuit. And get to experience our campus, our cure personalis, our, our mission that being a man for others, in the end, I think it also really gives us exposure to new kids. Did y'all see what happened there? What did I change? I brought him further downstairs. Yeah, a few little... The program began in 2008, and the goal of the program is to reach out to these young men in the greater Houston area and give them an opportunity to experience a Jesuit education. It happens a three-week program in June. This year we had 70 young men that were selected and involved in the program and these young men came from all different areas of Houston, from our public school system to our uh, charter schools to our academies to some even Catholic private schools. And we offer a variety of different classes. We go on a retreat, we have a field trip, go on a service project, and then our students will also go through a classroom curriculum. The Higher Achievement Program is uh, a program for middle school students um, to get a, an experience of what life at Strake Jesuit is. My role is to introduce uh, theology into the program. I've been trying to integrate theology, technology, and just uh, fun uh, ways to learn so the students can, can see that learning about God is not just a chore, but it's, it's something exciting and it's an academic subject as well. My name is John Hammerland. I teach science. And for the chemistry course, we actually go and explore different kinds of, of uh, reactions and also try to relate that into everyday things and make them appreciate the chemistry of everyday uh, substances. A lot of projects such as making smoke bombs and making uh, crystals out of uh, detergent, different sort of fun projects that they will remember. The program, where I've used it, has taken seventh grade and worked with acting for them, and eighth grade working with technical theater for them. Focusing on some acting games and acting skills, getting kids on stage, getting them to have fun, but also see the work involved in doing that. At the end of the program, I think they've got a sense, in regards to theater, a sense of how the whole thing comes together. Probably just as important as a sense of straight Jesuit, what we do here, a sense of the whole person. A straight Jesuit is not just academics, athletics, but uh, we also focus on, on service. We believe that we are men for others, and that means going out into the community and doing as much good as we can. This year, one of our service projects was going to a local Catholic charity. This was very much physical labor. And this was 95, 96 degrees in the dead of summer. They were thinking, how are we gonna all get this done? And to see them have an, a sense of accomplishment when two and a half hours later, we had moved all of these rocks, they knew that they were helping people. You could see a lot of the kids just enjoying it, enjoying being part of our community. One of the other program aspects that we do is taking students on a field trip to Galveston to Moody Gardens. This year we decided to go to the aquarium portion. Just to see the boys' faces when they go through there. You know, it's, some of them have never been to, to Moody Gardens in all the years that they live here in Houston. And it's a wonderment and the fascination, discovery. I think were most uh, exciting for them was the shark tank. All of those kids would just stand there and look at these sharks and watch them swim. That was one of the big things about the aquarium that, it, that everyone enjoyed. We have a career day on one of the last days of the HAP program and we always have someone to come in and talk to these boys about their experiences at Strake and what benefits they got from going to Strake Jesuit. This year, we had Pat Trahan, who is also one of our alumni, and he has been a political consultant for the mayor of Houston, and 
he had a very good message about how failure is not always bad and that to be who you want to be and to get where you want to get you're gonna have to fail a little bit but you must be able to persevere and I think the kids got a lot out of that. We hope that they come to Jesuit or they value what we do here at Jesuit. And even if they don't come here, they understand their purpose in being men for others, in that whole person. And that's something they can take with them wherever they go.